In this one, we're gonna to toggle content using state. And this will also teach us a little bit more about React's state or how the components work with this concept of state. Okay, so what I wanna do is open up post detail and I wanna make sure that my app.js does have my post list in there so it looks like it did before we did that last one. Okay, cool. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna make a button that is inside of my render action and then when I click that button, it's gonna to toggle whether or not my content actually shows. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this button in and we'll say toggle content display. Okay, and like we did with our title, we can make a click event and I'm gonna go ahead and grab this bind method and instead of this title was clicked, we'll just go ahead and say toggle content. Okay, cool. So we've got our, our method named, but we actually have to create the method. So toggle content and this is an event, passes an event and we wanna prevent the default, especially when it comes to a button, right? And now that we have it bound, these things will work just fine. The next thing is, all we have to do is on click this dot toggle content. Cool. So we now have a way to do all this. If you've watched this whole series, you would see that you've already done this. So how do I actually toggle this display? Well, what I can do here is say const and show content equals to true, right? So with this show content, variable, I can actually come in here, use curly brackets, show content equals equals to true, then we'll do that content. Otherwise, we'll just leave it empty. And there's my condition inside of the render method. This is my condition right here. Sure, you could use this for a different class, or you could do all sorts of things in here, right? So let's let's just show you what I mean by that. So if I did this as a class, I would cut this out and say class name equals to, use those curly brackets again, some ticks, and then inside of there, we add this same method here, and we'll do display block. This is a bootstrap thing, um, or the CSS bootstrap, but really, this is all about just showing you how to actually render this out. You put a dollar sign there, and that's how you would toggle, or that's how you would initially set up the toggle of uh, a class. Uh, and of course you'd get rid of this too. Okay, so, but what the thing about this is, is it actually renders out that content, right? So that content is still on the HTML page where this right here won't actually render out that content at all. It won't be inside of that HTML page. It won't show up unless we do something new. Okay, so um, a manual way of rendering this is changing that to false. So true and false, just kind of going back and forth. And what do you know, that content's there. But if I click this button, nothing happens. So what I wanna do is have this change this. So how do I actually do that? Well, to do this, um, the first thing I'm gonna do is on my constructor is say something like this.state equals to the name of the variable or the item that we're gonna be calling it. This is arbitrary, I'm calling it what I want. So by default, in that constructor, by default, I'm saying show content being true. So that means that this show, show content here could use those curly brackets again. And now instead of false, we just say this.state. And that maps this variable to this one. And again, if you change those, you have to change them, much like what we saw with the props. So this is where it seems like these things could be confused, right? So one is state related, one is related to what's gonna happen to a button eventually. And then the other one is related to the actual parameter that's on the item here, right? So these are props here, whereas state is inside of that single component. Okay, so now what we need to do is we can check this, save it, and what do you know? There it is, it's actually showing up. And again, if I change this to false, it will re-render and there it is. Okay, so, so the nice thing about this too is that's how you can share variables or data throughout your various items here. You can actually use it with state. Obviously you can use it with props as well because we did show you virtually how you do that. Uh, but you can use it with state and that will show you for that one single component. And now we can actually reference this and we just say set state 
and show content. And I'm going to initially just say false, right? So we have it, the default shows, says true, and then we just are going to toggle it to saying false. So we save that and I click on this. What do you know? Hey, just this one component toggles, right? So that's another aspect of the state. It's, it's related just to that one component where the prop might not do it that way. If you change the prop on the list view, which you could do, right? So you could do this same exact thing with state on these components here. We'll talk about that some other time, but for now, we see that, oh, I was able to change the show content on one single thing, but I'm actually not toggling it. I only just remove it. So to actually toggle it, all I need to do is say the inverse of this dot state dot show content. So whatever the opposite of that is, it's gonna show it. So if I refresh in here, I toggle it. And what do you know? It's actually toggling that content. Okay, cool. So you could say something like const and this dot state like that, right? So there we go. We're now sharing that same variable in there and just do this, right? So that will, that will, that should work as well. So if I refresh in here, it does. Cool. Um, so those are two different ways on how you can go about doing it. This, this is actually writing more code than you really need. So that's why I left it as this dot state that show content, right? It's a lot cleaner, but it's important to know that those things work. So that's how you toggle content using state or toggle anything really using state. And hopefully you can now stop and play around with how you make changes to state. We still have another video on state coming. So make sure you subscribe to get everything. Thanks for watching. See you next time.